what I've got for you tonight is the next installment of my Locksmithing 101 video series. This one's going to be on ACE type tubular cam locks. Um, this is an American. Got the keys for them. Key works it. Um, this is a service jig for the tubular cam locks. Um, what you do is lift that arm up there and tighten this little thumb screw here down. Good and tight. Now as you can see on the top of the on all the tubular cam locks there's a little plug right there. You have to get that plug out first before you can do anything else. So what you do is you thread the tailpiece of the cam lock on like that. And then you've got this piece here that has a couple of holes in it. What you do is you put this piece in and uh, tighten it down to where the holes line up um, with that plug. So you put it in like that, tighten the set screw down, and then drill straight down into that plug. Now a lot of the newer plugs are already threaded. So once you've had, once you got that plug drilled completely through, um, you can remove this, and then what you do is you use a tap, and you tap that um, plug out, or you tap it, and then you pop the plug out. I've already got this one tapped, or I'm, I'm sorry, I've already got that one uh, drilled. And I know most of you aren't going to have this kit. Um, another method you can use, what I used to do, is I drill a small hole just in front of this plug and then just use an ice pick and just pry this little brass plug straight up out of here. And as you can see, that plug comes right out. And that's what it looks like right there. So now that we've got that out, what we're going to do is lay this down just like that. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we've got a little follower here that's hollow in the end. You can make one of these yourself. Um, place that into the keyway, push down all the way and hold it there, hold it tight. And then work the cat or work the uh, the threaded part up. And uh, sometimes it takes a little screwdriver in here to uh, help it. But just nice and easy work it up. Hold the follower down, don't let go. Pull the threaded part straight up. And there we have it. I'm going to let this up nice and slow because those pins will go flying everywhere. And there's what we've got. There's the seven pins. Um, you can see right here, that's the shear line. Um, I'm going to take these pins out and I'll show them to you. There's one. This was a really tough one for me to pick. Um, just lost one, of course. And it went in a crack behind the bench, so it's gone. Okay, so there's all seven of the key pins, or the top pins. And we're gonna pull this next section out. Let me take it off here so I can show you. These are really, really tough to work on. But I want you to see what they look like 
you have a better understanding of how they work and then maybe pick them a little easier. Um, okay, so there's that. There's where that plug goes, right there. And uh, right there is the shear line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this next section off. Just like that. And there we have the seven, um, that would be the driver pins. They're right up next to the spring. So I'm gonna pull the drivers out and try not to lose them all. There's all the drivers. Now all we have left is the seven springs, which are in this piece here. So we're going to pop the springs out, let them all fall. And then there's the bottom. That's the, uh, the knurling that holds the threaded part into place, it's pressed to fit on there. So, um, let me show you what the pins look like here. I know most of you probably haven't ever seen these pins, but they're all pretty much standard. They're balanced. Um, that's the one I lost. And they do also make security pins. This is a, uh, that is what a mushroom driver looks like for the tubular. So there's all the pins. Now it's just the same thing when you go to put it back together. Um, you just have to be super careful. Um, what I do is put it back in the jig. Tighten her down. And make sure that your uh, notch is on the top for uh, the uh, the plug to hold the body back together, and then just reload it. Um, uh, one pin at a time, all the way around. There's the spring. There's the bottom pin, and there's the key pin just like when we took it apart. And uh, I'm running out of time, of course. Um, you do that all the way around the lock. Rekey it or whatever you need to do, whenever you took it apart. And uh, load it up just like that, all the way around. And then when you get it loaded up all the way around, I'm not gonna have time to do it, like I said, because I'm almost out of time now. but we'll pretend like it's all loaded up. Um, what you'll do is you take the follower, put it back on. Take the plug or the housing, the threaded part, put it back over the top and push it back down all the way till it seats. Take your follower out And then put your plug back in, and you're set. So uh, that's how you disassemble, repin if you need to, and reassemble an ACE-type tubular cam lock. Thanks for watching.